Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today topics are First of all, thanks very much for watching my first video on providing valuable suggestions and feedback. As mentioned in previous video, I have downloaded Pega software through PDN and then I got this uh, respective file. I have extracted that and I, in this I have clicked on this batch file and I just followed step how it is prompted. And after that, I could see like there are three shortcuts that Pega has provided. One is Pega shutdown, Pega login and Pega startup. So once these three shortcuts are present, you can click on this Pega startup and after that uh, in command prompt, it will be prompting few things. Once you are finished with that, you can click on this Pega platform login. Then you will be presented Pega login page and this is the basic credentials that uh, Pega system has given and you can see what are the things we will get through installation file, all this kit will be available from Pega. So you no need to get Java or some other tools installed in your machine. So this is the basic credentials. Once you log in, Pega, Pega Developer Studio. So as as part of the concept, we'll be going with the tools of Pega and what are the terminology in Pega and what is the different types of studios in Pega. So in Pega, we are having this is called as Record Explorer where we have different categories over here and this is app explorer we can see classes and branches so i will be recording another video like what is a class and how we can navigate through those and this is case types and this is favorites and this is the search bar and if someone asks you like uh, which version of pega you're using you can just click on this it will be showing which version of pega you are using in your project or in your personal laptop and this is the information resources. So once you click, you can navigate to Pega PDN and Pega support is just product is not working fine. We can rise with Pega system. So they will be fixing those. And this is about Pega infinity. And after that, Pega has given a much number of tools for us. We look into like issues. If there are any activities that are going to take long time, then these will be reported over here. And this is a tracer. So tracer is nothing but where you can see execution of some program or execution of some process in Pega. And I will be recording a separate video only for tracer because we have n number of options here like settings. If you see these are the rules we can trace and these are the rule sets. So what if you want to trace another page on how many lines of code you want to trace and this is remote tracer like you can see here batch app and browser so i will be covering those all concepts in another video and we can do save of a trace and then the next tool we have is clipboard uh, clipboard basically shows you four different pages so for clipboard also i will be uh, recording another video and what are the uses of this clipboard and, and we have performance profiler so it basically shows like suppose if you are executing one program so how much time has been elapsed how many rules are involved in that so for all those and you can see here db trace db trace settings so these also can be covered in another video and basically there are some more things like agile workbench scenario testing as well so those all will be covered in another video and coming to st different studios there are basically four different studios in pega we have this is dev studio app studio and admin studio and prediction studio dev studio is basically for developers to configure the code or to build some functionalities and this is app studio pegas from rule is not only developers like other stakeholders like uh, ba people can also uh, do some initial configuration on case types and all. Mm. So here you can see we can create case types. Uh, this is data explorer where we have seen in dev studio and these are channels. These channels are like suppose if you want to do some web mashup, if you want to do mobile SMS and if you want to build some chatbots like Alexa. 
you can do over here and if you con if you want to configure some users also you can do it here and this is pretty much useful for naive users and they no need to be a pega developer to do this and another thing is admin studio admin studio is basically like server side you can see like only one user has been logged in and there is only one node and these are different types of agents and what how many jobs are running in background and you can see resources over here all these things will be covered in future videos one after the other and you can see mobile settings system configuration and all and next is prediction studio this prediction studio as said in my first video there are some courses like data scientist and decisioning and uh, cpm so suppose if you like uh, some sports page in facebook then in facebook you can see many uh, ads related to sports shoes and all so it understands our data and it's nothing but predicting uh, the user so all these can be configured here i did not work much on this area but i will try to cover this in my future videos also so for next videos if you want to be prepared uh, to explain more things uh, some more basic terminology like rule so what is a rule in pega suppose in java if you take you will be saving some property so property is a rule basically pega full abbreviation is pega prpc it's nothing but rule processing commander so we build rules so there are different kind of rules for example if you take this is admin agent is a rule category is a rule class is a rule database is a rule so all these things we term as rules suppose if you click on class there are many objects over here suppose if class is a rule this particular object belongs to class and this is called called as instance so for a class there can be n number of instances for a rule suppose this is a user interface here you can see section skin paragraph harness so all these are nothing but rules entire our project or entire paga will be running on this rules one after the other i will be explaining to you guys i don't want to rush on this so just if you are not sure what i have said rewind this so you will get a basic idea full for me to go in a smoother way for my next recording thanks for watching